Elizabeth Katie Stanton. <laughs> the history of mankind is a history of repeated injuries and usurpations on the part of man toward woman, having in direct object the establishment of an absolute tyranny over her. To prove this, let facts be submitted to a candid world. He has never permitted her to exercise her inalienable right to the elective franchise. He has compelled her to submit to laws in the formation of which she had no voice. He has withheld from her, right? This is election day, and my brother is 21 years old. How proud he seemed as he dressed up in his best Sunday clothes and drove off in the big wagon with father and the hired men to vote. I turned to Mary and I said, wouldn't you like to vote as well as Oliver? Don't you and I love the country just as well as he, and doesn't the country need our ballots? Then she looked scared, but answered, Of course we do, and of course we ought, but don't you go ahead and say so, for then we would be called strong-minded. He has taken from her all right in property, even to the wages she earns. He has made her morally. I have earned enough to school me a while, and have I not a right to do so? Or must I go home like a dutiful girl, place the money in father's hands, and then there goes all my hard earnings? In the covenant of marriage, she is compelled to promise obedience to her husband, he becoming to all intents and purposes her master. 